Hello there, and thank you for joining me in this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. In this how-to screencast, our long form for doing screencasts, we're going to cover off how to synchronize multiple angles when you have one angle that is, say, the full match that might include the halftime, and then you've got a second angle that is simply the first half and second half that is missing the halftime. So you've got to construct the full match by putting together first half, second half, and sort of removing that halftime and, and stitching all that back together so you have one nice uh, full match uh, movie collection. So how we're going to do that is we're going to create a archive and then we're going to create a second archive and then we're going to join those together. So here I've got my tactical footage in here and we'll bring in our behind the goals and what we need to do first is we need to synchronize those. So we need to do our start time offsets so that they're working good. So let's get to a point in the movie here where the kickoff is. We'll zoom that in. Okay, we can see we're off. So let's adjust start time offsets. Now remember, generally when you go negative, you're going to be moving the video forward because it's all relative to the other angles. So you're, you're sliding the movie backward, which in effect is moving it forward. I know it's kind of hard to get your head around it, but that's the way it works. So always look to see which way the people are moving or the ball is traveling, that kind of thing. So we can see there that he swings his foot back. He's got his foot back there. That's brilliant. So we'll close that. Now we need to create a clip for the first half. So I'll go to the start again, and we'll just rip a clip whoop, all the way to the second half. You can see when that right angle ends. Okay, that's good right there. And now what I want to do is I want to archive that. I'm going to go ahead and link this because that then gives me my timeline name. So we'll go into our movie timeline, rename the collection. We'll just call it 1H for the first half. And then I'll link my timeline so the, it takes on the collection name. And I'll select that and we're going to archive that off to the first half. Now let's go and create our second half collection, which will be another archiving situation. So I'll call this 2H, link my timeline, and then go here. And that should be, well, it's still archiving, so we'll let that finish. But we'll, we'll go ahead and do the second half. OK, so let's go in here and look for that. OK create that clip for the second half. Let's just zoom that in, make sure that we're at a happy spot. Okay, there we go. And now we can see our first half is done. Now what I need to do here is I don't want this because this is the first half, right? So we'll go ahead and remove the angle. And then, oh, let me just... Uh, remove any of the angle positions. We'll zero, zero that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to archive that to the second half. So it's just going to be the one angle. All right? So that should happen pretty quick. So here's our first half. We're happy with that. We don't need that anymore. And this will come through in just a second. And cool, now we've got, that's the second half, remember. So now we just got to go in here, drag that in, create the new angle. Now this is going to probably need a bit of synchronizing. So let's see. Let's zoom that in. Get to where we want it. Okay, bang, he kicks it there. right when you back on the back swing and we adjust the start time offsets just like we did in the first half. Probably going to have to move this one a fair bit. There is a good trick if you hold command. Um, you can accelerate that. That will go really quick and if you screw it up, hold option and then click and then that will reset it so you can, you can have another go at it. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to move it backward which is in effect moving it forward. Okay, now let's zoom that in and get it on his backswing. Happy with that. Close that. And now we've got our first half. Make sure that it goes. Yep, 
that's all the way to the end. Happy with that. Okay, cool. Now what we do is we'll take this, that's all ready to go, and we can join these two. So I'll select the first half first, oops, and then I'll select the second half. Selection order is important, and I'll join the two timelines. And bang, job done. Now you've got a first half, second half, and they are all in sync. How about that?